Okay, cool guys, this is Matthew, and basically just want to make another quick video. Today it's going to be, it's going to be about, what is it going to be about? It's going to be about a specific carbohydrate diet, or kind of paleo diet. Um, basically, uh, I met my mates today, I uh, have exams soon, but I, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, I was just going to be like, yeah, this, uh, my mates wanted to meet up, and yeah, my ex was kind of coming again as well on good terms and yeah all my mates are there it's kind of been a while so yeah obviously yeah so I kind of go meet up with them and yeah they all look really good uh, even to the point of sounding a bit gay but yeah I mean everyone's just like happy in the vitality and they just look healthy and just happy and just like just were really good you know and basically what I just wanted to say is it's kind of like I think I'm just gonna like I've had a big, I was have, basically I've been having a certain diet and you're kind of worried that if you kind of change it that you're going to maybe dry up, you won't be able to get enough calories, so forth, or etc, whatever, and I'm just like, fuck it, basically being in the shake, which is, uh, it's called Modulin from Nestle, and it's, it's basically what, it's kind of pre-digested pre alternative to food, get less cramping because there's less obstruction because I mean there's less roughage etc less fiber it's kind of pre-digested so it's kind of more tolerable and a lot of people actually are put onto this in the UK uh, maybe not in America but in the UK and yeah, I've, I've had it before and it's really helped actually but it's never actually got it to like way like perfect it's never made me perfect but it's kind of put me to like an average equilibrium so I'm of the opinion and my mom especially when I told her I want to stop it, she's like, she's like, what the, what the hell? You're gonna die. Um, but I'm like, if I go for surgery in a bit, I'm gonna die. Probably there's more of a chance of dying anyway. So I'm thinking to get rid of this. The reason I'm getting rid of this is on a specific carbohydrate diet, you can't have any processed sugars. You can't have any, like basically any milk. Or, well, this doesn't have any bacteria we found in milk, which is the problem though, so I take that back. But basically, you can't have any processed stuff, and this is about as processed as you get. And being on this by itself hasn't got me to like a perfect state, which I think is possible with clones, if you do it, if you change your diet uh, enough. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm going to have to sub substitute it. So I can get to the kind of vitality and general health that my mates have. I also wanted to say basically what was one of my mates. I was like, oh yeah, it's it kind of that guy, and I was like, oh yeah, you look you're looking good, man. I said it a few times actually, maybe too much. It's sounding a it's sounding a bit queer even, but like no, honestly, you kind of appreciate. You kind of look at your mates and you're like, wow, they're looking good. You know, guys who are skinnier before and looking worse than you, starting to look a lot better than you. You kind of think it kind of makes you think where you could be if if it wasn't for this condition. So basically, it's like, I'm like, I think, yeah, and here the, it's made, there's a made up form. I'm, like, I'm making pints, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's my last one actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have it now because I, I want to have really certain gaps between my meals, so I don't want to mix it. But yeah, I think it's going to be the last one. I'll show you quickly. It's just like a powder form, you see, like scoops. You put like, you make, what is it, for a pint glass like this, you put about 14 scoops and mix it with water, it's about as simple as that. In terms of convenience, I mean, it's right there. And that's the problem with a specific carbohydrate diet and several other diets, you have to you have to make an effort. It's an effort, yeah. But I think it's going to be worth it. And I'm going to want to let you, I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. The only problem I have is, uh, to get the calories, I think I'm going to have to have a lot of like, natural kind of healthy smoothies, whatever, sugars. The fiber mainly is going to be the problem, but what I'm going to try is I think I've done it a bit before. Is you kind of you have the fiber in the morning or like between big gaps because fiber goes really quick for the gut, so it kind of pushes stuff and maybe jams it where I have a fistula where it's narrowed. So I'm thinking maybe have like the most fiber, like the most fibrous shakes, whatever in the morning, and getting to more, 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 more kind of more bland, more foods with less fiber, but just like meats in the evening. So it doesn't like clog up like during the day. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, hopefully it won't make the, the fibrous stuff so bad. Because I mean, if I have fiber by itself, I'm not thinking how I'm taking it. 
it can really bug everything up with terms of pain and stuff. So I'm thinking to do it like that. But yeah, that's my mum's like, she, it caused an argument today. I was like, I said I wanted to stop this. She's like, what the, you know? I'm like, I'm I'm probably going for surgery at this rate. I'm on Humira, and I need to try something radical to treat something which is pretty radical, pretty devastating, uh, pretty serious. And I'm going to get rid of the modulin. It's been a staple for for me for literally my whole life, for ten years like now. I'm twenty. I've had it clients for ten. And it's been a staple, so it's kind of like it's like a big thing for me to do. But I think I, I mean I've always kind of got by on it. I mean, I think my best health was when I was on maybe a litre of it a day. And currently now I'm more, more towards like two litres, two and a bit more litres. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe it's not the best. And also other people, I mean, I drink in pint glasses. Other people drink in small cups, a couple to a day. I drink several pints of this. So maybe there's something not quite right. I was also going to say, basically, my blood test results. It's April now, and in January... I kind of stopped taking any like bread for like a month or so, a few weeks, and I was having a lot of smoothies. The smoothies, the fibre was causing a lot of pain, and I was kind of taking loads of codeine to kind of combat it. But then I had my blood test results, and my serum, serum albumin, which is like a really important factor for in terms of measuring disease, it was like 38, 38. If you know anything about those, that, 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 that thing, you know, about the serum, this serum, you test in the blood, you know 38 is like ridiculously high, ridiculously great. It should be from about 32 to about 39 or 40 or something. Mine was like literally, or 45, it should be from 32 to 45. And mine was right up there. For me, it's always, it's usually averaged about mid 20s at best, um, about mid 20s. So to 38, that was ridiculous. And that's when I stopped bread. That's when I was kind of low. I wasn't taking so much of this, but then I was in a lot of smoothies. I wouldn't say it was a good time for me because the pain obviously from the fibre but I'm thinking diluting juices for instance people do that I, I do that as well maybe diluting the smoothies and just kind of just thinking a bit more trying to be like yeah like I said before having fibre and then less fibre during the day so it's less clogging up different time gaps hopefully that's going to help not to cause too much pain and I'm going to go out tomorrow and yeah I'll let you know what's happening. I'll let you know what my meals are later on. I'm not to let you know if it's working because I just have enough of this. I want to look as good as my mates, feel as good as my mates, you know, be able to do stuff for my mates like I kind of did before, like work out and stuff. I used to work out my mates a lot and it's I'm in no fit state to, I just have no energy, I'm fatigued, I'm tired, it's, I'm just not up for that. It's not, I've lost weight. I'm not at there. I should be there. Every guy at 20 should be at least kind of there, should be pumping weights, should be, should it be able, should be in a position to do that if he wants to, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what's happening. Thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully Crohn's, hopefully Crohn's colitis, whatever you guys is, hopefully it's going to get better. Like I hope for myself as well, so uh, nice one. Thanks, thanks for tuning in.